of all the solitary bee habitats I've made over the years these log ones where it's simply a section of log that's been drilled into quite weathered seasoned log have always been among the most successful these particular are good for osmia rufus uh, red mason bees and leaf cutter bees there's one sitting in his hole there at the top and they're always buzzing every year till they kind of split down the middle and start falling apart which is a one of the negative points of using logs like these they do tend to split quite badly and then come apart but you can get four or five years out of them and they're relatively easy to make and I thought on that note I would show you one that I've just cut and what I'm using to make a quite simple design if you watched the hose video last week you'll know I cut the bottom of a tub and used that to surround the hoses and keep them dry well I had that other section which was open front and back um, and I didn't want to throw it away so I've just I had that some a whole sections of trees up from the top when I chopped down a pine tree and I'm slowly using it to make habitats with so I've covered it in that I, I put this bit of plastic over the log until it fit and then cut either side of it slightly smaller I probably didn't go small enough because it's not much of an overhang and I like the rain to stop going on the front so I'll have to tip this one slightly I've sanded the plastic down and will paint it dark brown like usual and I've given this a uh, sand let it dry in the sun a bit and then put some PVA on it if you want the best meteorologist or the best weather report watch your solitary bees because it's getting a little bit overcast here and when it does they all go into their holes you can see their heads sticking out they are insanely cute for bees and they just sit there waiting for sun in fact I just noticed one of my new uh, habitats has got the whole bottom row that you can actually see that it's not focusing very well oh there you go you can see their heads there's two further back on the right there's another one there so it's definitely going to rain because they're all tucked themselves away they are so cute these guys at the bottom are particularly nice there are they there there we go so the little bit of a disaster with the habitat it's all done and it's fine it looks nice on top of the plastic I, I put a bit of the uh, vinyl flooring as well because I realised I had no overhang and I like to do that and so do the bees they like to have that. The wood was far too new it wasn't seasoned and trying to drill plus my pillar drill literally blew up and started smoking so that's a goner but the uh, oh look, one nearly visited it then I've just put it up but um, the wood was far too wet when I was drilling it by hand which isn't a good idea you don't get straight holes and no, you don't get clean holes which is what they like uh, it, the water was coming out sap from the wood and I knew it wasn't be good and what happens is it, it kind of drags the drill and you can see how untidy the holes are and they won't like those when you compare them to the holes in this one this is two years old but it's still they're still very clean the holes and they they'll you know they would they will use some of these some of the holes I got away with but there are some that are just awful and particularly inside as you look down the hole there's all bits in there and they like a nice clean place to go so look, it's all right it, it's a, it's if anything it's taught me a couple of things about using logs that I'll have to chop them up and leave them over winter and use them the next year but you know it's a fine habitat I needed something else in this area because they've they've used up a lot of the holes in the others and they are old this one here they've just discovered that and it's getting seasoned itself that's why they're using the bottom but yeah the whole area I've re reconditioned the bottom one as well give it another coat of paint so this area is looking good the honeysuckle there for them and there's uh, uh, hawthorn I think they're hawthorn trees for the leaf cutter bees and they'll start later on in the year and you'll see holes I think if you watch one of my other videos you'll see holes cut so yeah generally okay a bit of a learning curve for me so thanks for watching hope you liked it like and subscribe Stephen underscore where on Twitter 
please spread the word all the money goes to the world land trust which is a wonderful charity have a good one Wishing